you are contaminating a protected area, remove yourself and your pet from the preserve immediately. This is a very narrow road at the preserve, but it's a road you can park on. This is sort of a mutual agreement with other people who come out here. But you can park on this road, even if you're sticking out a little bit. And people will respect that because they know that there's birders and photographers that hang out on this road. Desmond Road and intersects with Bruceville Road and it's if you're going I believe west on Desmond you end up at the Consumnus Preserve but this is all it's all a part of it the thing I like about this road is you can park on the road and sit and just wait there are some northern harrier hawks that fly around out here and do their their hunting and it's pretty cool to see this is also where a lot of the snow geese hang out when they are here as well as the uh, sandhill cranes so it can be a pretty a pretty happening area right now it's it's 1 12 in the afternoon and i'm not seeing a whole lot of everything i want to see but that's okay because i just got here and it's a beautiful day so if i were literally to pull over shut the engine off and just enjoy the peace it'd be well worth it I'll show you what I mean. Let's, see, let's get this out of here. You can see the cars pulled over along the road here. Okay, so it's a big sign with a bunch of stuff on it, but the most important part that you may or may not be aware of is this situation right here where these birds are all doing their thing during the year. And I'll just read it to you. Before 1900, California's Central Valley had over 4 million acres of wetlands. One was able to travel by boat all the way from Sacramento to Bakersfield. By 1940, it is estimated that 85%, 3.4 million acres of wetlands had been lost. The majority of this loss was due to the conversion of wetlands to agriculture. An additional 250,000 acres was lost between the 1940s and the 1980s. As of today, about 90% of the wetlands in the Central Valley have been lost. So that I actually didn't know that you could boat top to bottom. Uh, let's see. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, rules, who cares? No signage there. What is a wetland? All wetlands have similar characteristics. Wetlands must have water and be wet for a minimum of two weeks per year and have wetland specific plants or animals in them. Cattails and bulrush are visible here. There are many types, many different types of wetlands. They can be large ones. Or, uh, they can be large like the ones here at Lost Slope or small like vernal springtime pools that are only a few square yards in size. Wetlands can be permanent like lakes or ponds, tidal like 
the mud flats and wetlands of the delta and seasonal or temporary like vernal pools and rain or flood filled ponds. Most of the wetlands here on Consumnes River Preserve are intensively managed wetlands. Organizations such as Ducks Unlimited and Central Valley Joint Venture play a vital role. Our wetlands are the product of many years of an effort to create habitat that functions as naturally as possible and provide benefits to birds, plants, and other wetland-dependent species. Yes, that person walking by threw me off, and so my reading became of lesser value. Here we go. So now we take a little walk all the way to the edge of this little walkway, which is a little peninsula made of decking. And you can just sit there and watch. The Consumnes River Preserve. The restored wetlands on the Consumnes Preserve are being enhanced and maintained through endowment, through an endowment gift given to Ducks Unlimited by Charles M. Shepherdson in memory of his wife Shirley and her love of all wildlife. October 19th, 1993. Well, I appreciate this, surely, and surely it shall appreciate me. And here we are, ladies and gents. The decking made peninsula. I'll scoot down here and just lay there and shoot underneath the railings just to get that high level shot. It's just so nice out here. I'm not sweating in my boots like I typically am. <sighs> not too bad today. I don't like a lot of people out here at the time that I come, but can't be too selective. I get, get off of work when I get off of work.
supposed to have your dog at the preserve, let alone off the leash. You are contaminating a protected area. Remove yourself and your pet from the preserve immediately. Law enforcement is en route. Remove yourself from the preserve immediately. Return to the public road. 